Hi everyone, it's Ashley with another process video for my sister's album that I've been working on detailing her engagement, the bachelorette party, the bridal shower. Today I'm going to be working on these four pages, starting um, with this page with two 4 by 4s and a 2 by 8 um, Sorry if you hear my son in the background, he's with me while I do this voiceover. Um, here I'm just, we were in Bugs Land, and I'm just adding um, this pattern paper, almost. It's not really a pattern paper. This is um, a picture I took of one of the walls going into Bugs Land, and I just printed it black and white to kind of look like um, a pattern paper to fill this space. And then um, I also put a photo flip, a 4x4 photo flip, from Simple Stories right here and it's gonna have this photo of me and my son and on the inside it's gonna have um, a piece of pattern paper and another photo and so here I'm gonna put this photo this uh, flare button this flat flare button from Celine Studios Project Mouse uh, onto the photo at first I thought I was gonna put it higher up to kind of hide uh, the guy that's in front of us but I decide to put it in the lower um, corner because I'm going to actually write a story about um, that group of people that's in the seats in front of us. And that story is going to be put on an insert that isn't going to be put on the, shown on this process video, but it'll be part of the final album. On this card, which is from that 4x4 Elements page from Simple Story Say Cheese 2, I'm going to add this pink Martha Stewart Avery label um, right on the center. And to this, I'm going to add the um, our last name, my family's last name, using these white and gold foil letter stickers from Dear Lizzie. Um, I don't make you sit through me putting these all on it's fairly a fairly long last name and these stickers are pretty finicky um let's see there we go so there it is our last name on there and like I said that'll tie into uh the story the longer story I'm gonna put um about waiting in line and so next to this pocket is a four by six with three two by twos on top and three two by twos on bottom. Um, I'm just going through all of the different pieces that I had print, printed and cut out to fit into these pockets. Um, again, this is more Bugs Land and California Adventure. Um, they have some really fun photo opportunity areas and we um, took advantage of one of that and had a group photo. Um, it was kind of spur of the moment, so it didn't line up perfectly. <laughs> My son is really excited to see this picture of his aunt. <laughs> okay, back to the video. I am trimming up these... Um, little alpha tiles these are from celine studio they were part of the i think classic alpha tiles um i'm not quite sure but if ever you have a question about the products that i use um you can click in the link below to my blog which has um posts showing all of the photos close-up photos of what i'm working on and in those posts there is always a list of products used um, I'm going to try to remember to put the that product list also um, in the description of the YouTube video, but it doesn't always happen, So, but they'll always be on my blog. Um, so here I am just arranging those letters so that they fit well on that card, and that card is, um, it, it kind of it's kinda has like a subtle leaf print pattern to it. Um, which I thought really fit well because if you haven't been to a Bugs Land in California Adventure, they kind of um, scale everything so that you're the same size as the bugs. So it's like you're in the movie A Bug's Life. And uh, so I just thought it fit really well. And to that, I also added a arrow washi tape and a blue label um, just talking about that stroller that's in the photo next to the card which was kind of cool it was um a 
it looked custom made, but it was a three seater and it, it was just kind of cool and crazy all at the same time. Um, moving on, I struggle a lot with these top two um, pockets. I don't know, I go back and forth with what I want to use. I wanted to use that square camera, um, but then I also wanted to use the blue herringbone pattern, and but two blue cards together did not look good. So I go back and forth with what I'm going to do. Ultimately, I do decide to use um, the camera with the heart in the center that's off to the left right now, and this craft um larger herringbone pattern um and then I just end up adding a couple of um pieces from the bits and pieces say cheese to ephemera pack and you'll see that here um I go through the sticker sheet and a couple different options um like I said these photos are from Bugs Land my two sisters and I and my son we spent a little bit of time there separate from the rest of the group um, and we just rode some of the fun little kid rides. Um, I have mentioned in other videos, my si one of my sisters needs to use a guest assistance pass, and sometimes she's not able to do, um, all the rides she wants to, and so while the rest of the group was doing Tower of Terror, we took my son, um, to explore Bugs Land, and it was nice just to kind of relax and go at a slower pace, and, um, enjoy some time together and um so that's what the journaling that I talked that I said I'll write um and add to the spread later we'll talk about and also while we were waiting in one of the lines we met that couple that I said was in front of us um and they ended up having the same last name as the rest of our family so that's part of that story as well moving on um, the back side of this uh, page, I'm going to use the 4x6 pocket to hold two 3x4 photos. Um, these are just of us at the finishing line um, of Radiator Springs Racers. And we rode that into um, groups because my son is too small, obviously, to go on there. So we, so we did rider swap, and that's something I highly recommend if you're going to Disney with kids that don't meet height requirements and you can ask um, any cast member at the start of the line if um, the if they offer rider swap for that ride uh, moving on I'm just adding in cards here the bottom one it says excuse me can I have a picture with you and that's a quote from Mater from Cars 2 in the top part of the page, I had printed this Radiator Springs Racers card from Celine Studios, and I wanted it to mimic the um, size of the photo that's in the lower left-hand corner. I'm sorry that it's off screen right now. So I put that in and cut it so that it mimicked, like I said, that photo. And then I added another printable from Celine Studios that said on your mark get set go and that's from the cars collection or the go or speed I'm, I'm not sure what the exact name but it's cars themed um, this next page is two it's the same configuration but instead of a four by six pocket it actually has two by three pocket two three by four pockets sorry um, in the top center, I added a card that I made myself that says get your kicks on Route 66 and then Radiator Springs underneath it. This page also has five photos. The top left is a picture of Lizzie and Stanley um, on their wedding day. It's from Radiator Springs. And next is my sister and my son. Then a close-up of Lightning McQueen, a photo of the Cozy Cone, and a photo of our food from the Cozy Cone. Everything they serve there is in a cone. And so um, that I'm going to journal about that a little bit on this square piece that I'm working on. Um, that is another from the Cut Apart Elements page, the 4x4, 2x2 one. Uh, on that piece, I added um, a Martha Stewart Avery label. And I just staggered both sides of it. And I'm going to write good eats. And then I list the different kinds of cones we had for dinner that night. 
and then that's going to be done for that card. I am going to uh, make a journaling spot for that right hand pocket. I am going to use a card from the Seafoam collection and I just layered it, layered it onto a piece of pattern paper. On the back side, I'm documenting Midway Mania and I'm just adding a photo of my sister's scores at the end of the ride. This card says 54321 and I can't remember if I made that or if it came from Celine Studios. I'll have to look. Um, the top middle piece is says Midway Mania and I made that one. Um, the last two um, pockets, I just put some pattern paper in there and call it a day. Um, there's not really any journaling to go with it. Uh, we're going to transition to the last page, and this is a page with four 3x4 three four pockets. In the upper pocket um, journaling card, that was made using Celine Studios, no, sorry, Paisley Press, press kit number 15. Before I um, printed it out, I did open it into a photo editor and added M and Matterhorn. And then I add some journaling off screen. This last card is from the 4x6, 3x4 elements cut apart from Slay Cheese 2. I added some gold foil stickers, um, arrow stickers. And then that's it. Um, here are some photos. I hope you enjoyed. Please hit like and or subscribe. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.